Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Morvar, coming to you loud and proud from my little cobblestone hut. Um, well, this is embarrassing. So, um, yeah, this episode is a little bit, uh, not what I was planning. So, if, as you can tell, things are a little different. I have added shaders and... I changed my skin to something that I wanted, but here's the thing, so I recorded like two or three hours worth of footage for this episode, right? Like episode two was supposed to be like, like we were going to go mining and we were going to go do like this whole expedition uh, and we were going to go explore that thing over there and I had I had done all this fun stuff, like all, the, all this great footage and Every bit of it got corrupted. And I mean every bit. For some reason, it recorded to a format that I couldn't use in my editing program. And when I tried to convert it, the entirety of, of all the files got corrupted. So, uh, in summation, uh, this episode is a little bit... Um, <laughs> Let's just say I've done some things between episodes, but anyway, so, um, I, I believe I had alluded to in the last episode that I wanted to put shaders on, and, well, this is me following up on that. Um, <laughs> I really like the way the, these shaders look, especially, like, how, like, the shadows just, like, slowly creep up. It, it's just really, really cool looking, and, uh... I also uh, implemented some rules for myself and this series. Um, they like rules that are that's gonna it's going to challenge me to, and it's also going to help me keep things interesting, not only for you guys at home, but for myself as well. So, uh, one of the biggest uh, things is that we are going to be forever locked into hard mode and I locked in hard mode on camera I promise it's like I said the whole it, it was like uh, it was it was just like a dumpster fire basically that entire episode so yes we are forever locked on hard mode I cannot change it I cannot cheat in items I can't uh, switch it to peaceful. I have to just deal with the fact that the game is now in hard mode, and like that's that's that. So uh, another thing that I that I uh, set for myself is that I do not want to use any kind of game breaking farms. So like we are right next to a. Ooh, let me sleep real quick here and I have like all the changes that uh, I want to make in in a word document but um yeah so we're like we're right next to a village not using an iron farm we are not doing that uh same thing with the gold farm we are not uh like I don't want to make like any kind of game breaking farms you know uh because I feel like it just kind of trivializes playing the game, you know? Because, like, mining is, like, can be, like, one of the most interesting things you can do in the game. And I feel like having a, uh, having a golden iron farm kind of, like, trivializes that. But that's just my opinion. Uh, another thing that I wanted to do is no elytra. None. I have to... In order to traverse the world, I have to use horses, minecarts, ev basically every kind of like old school mode of transportation, but I cannot use Elytra. The reason for that is I feel that uh, that flying in survival Minecraft should be limited to modded like worlds and stuff like that. And although we're technically modded now because of the shaders and all that, uh, I would still rather, like, just have flying be allocated to, like, mod packs and stuff like that. 
so um, there's that and I'm also limiting myself to only using uh, only using diamond tools until after we kill the dragon then uh, I will allow myself to use netherite tools just as a nice uh, reward like post game reward for myself and I'm also planning on after we kill the dragon to maybe potentially possibly maybe add some uh, post game mods that kind of like add new monsters and stuff like that something to like push progression further you know like like a new game plus if you will but yeah so locked in hard mode no elytra no game breaking farms no netherite until I kill the dragon and post game progression those are the big things that I want to do with the series to keep things nice interesting and more importantly entertaining for not only myself but for you guys as well because who doesn't like to see a 30 year 30 some odd year man like scream like a little girl whenever a creeper like comes and uh and does creeper things but anyway uh so that is the reason for that that uh the the ugly house i'll, I'll call it because uh i locked in hard mode in the record the previous recording uh, right whenever it was uh, nighttime, and <laughs> I literally just used whatever material I had in my uh, in my inventory, and um, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it was very haphaz. It's very haphazardly constructed, but necessity calls for necessity calls for um, whatever the phrase is. Uh, anyway, so uh, in the last recording I did, I recorded me getting the diamonds that you see here. I've also uh, found a name tag, and I've gotten a music disc actually from a creeper and a skeleton killing each other. And you're never gonna believe me, uh, but it happened like on camera. And I would show you the footage if I could, but unfortunately, such is not the case. But uh, I found a name tag and just a whole bunch of random stuff in a mine shaft that's like down there uh, in, well, my mine shaft. <laughs> uh, we are particularly low on iron and coal for that matter. Good lord, we are very low on coal. Okay. Um, so what I am going to do... Um, oh, I should probably talk about, um, uh, my building project, uh, coming up. So, I have this idea for a base. Now, I have not done something like this, like, in the many years that I've played Minecraft, is that I have never made myself a legit treehouse. So, my plan is to build a ginormous treehouse that will have a ton of like buildings and such sticking out of it and I'm thinking that the area will be right around there to where uh, it'll have like a minecart system that'll that'll reach from island to island and I can basically go like wherever I want. Now one thing I am allowing myself in the series is that I am allowing uh, myself to do um, to do uh, nether, uh, nether portal travel uh, just because I don't know like <laughs> I want to allow like I just really want to uh, like have some fun with nether portals but in any case uh, and one thing that, uh, one little caveat to my, um, to my game breaking farm, uh, uh, plan is that I am allowing myself to, like, if I, if I find a dungeon spawner, for example, like a skeleton spawner, uh, I'm allowing myself to make a grinder out of that. 
because that's not really a game breaking farm that's basically just using what the game gives you you know what I mean uh, it's not like I have to you know uh, force like spawn rates and all that kind of stuff it's more or less just letting the spawner do its work and then me just like har harvesting uh, what comes out of it but anywho um, so I have started to collect wood I've made a tree farm meadow right about there and I just been spending a few a few hours give or take uh, collecting logs and leaves and basically everything that I would need um, I don't necessarily have like a plan for like what the first add-on is gonna be because like I want like things to be sticking out of this thing like I want it to look like a, a kids next door for those who uh, grew up with that uh, show I want it to look like a treehouse from that show basically like just like a whole bunch of things just like sticking out of like this <laughs> this this kind of tiny tree you know but yeah that'll be really cool that's what I want to do um, but for now I think I'm gonna go do some mining cuz we need coal but while I'm thinking about it I'm going to collect some of these flowers cuz it will be nice to have a nice little die collection. But yes, the the recording process that I went through, uh, the footage that got corrupted, like it was a very disheartening manner, and I did every, literally everything I could to fix it, and it was just, it was just not. Uh, going good so I mean it broke my heart in half to get rid of the footage but it is what it is sometimes you win sometimes you lose that's the way she goes um, anyway uh, let me go put this wood away these logs I mean But yeah, um, I know it's a little jarring to see like all these changes like all at once, but I think in the long run, like, like it's better to just do it all at once than to, I don't know. I feel like this way, like I have a more cohesive vision for what I want to do, like just doing it all at once. But anyway. We have a ravine right here, so this is where I've been pillaging, and my dog just trying to eat my wires. I don't appreciate that little miss. <laughs> She's a little rascal. Anyway, uh, where, where's the entrance? I think it's right here. Nope. How do I not remember the entrance to my own mind? I'm not sure. But let me go to sleep before. The zombies come and eat my brain. Ah, here it is. Okay. Put you in my offhand. But yeah, it was a crazy recording session, and I am so frustrated that it like all the footage like was basically lost but I'd be lying if I said that's the first time that's ever happened to me 
because, like I said, guys, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. Like, I think I started my channel in 2011. And it, that was not exactly yesterday. And, oh my gosh, I don't have armor. What a genius I am. Okay, he hasn't seen me yet. So I'm going to continue to dig. It would be cool to get some deep slate. That'd be. I really like the uh, the way that material looks. But it was a lot of me like just kind of running around and like screaming and just like running in terror. I think I died like at least three or four times in that in that one little session. So, well, I say a little session. I recorded like. It was at least like, like, two, like an hour, like somewhere between like an hour to two hours worth of footage. Two or three hours, I would say. I don't know. It was it was a lot, you know. So. Oh, that's uh. I think I mentioned this before, but in the sh the shaders mod, like holding a torch and even a campfire. Uh, I found out uh, recently. Uh, ooh. Hello. What is going on here? I don't know. I can't see. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're drowning. Let's not drown, please. Okay. Whew. Okay. Now, I want to get above that, because there is some cool stuff in there. Let's see. We should be just about there. Okay, here we are. I really should have brought a bucket. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 no. I never claim to be good at this game. <laughs> Okay. Wonder if... Hmm. I was hoping it would function like the like the glow sticks from Terraria, but wishful thinking. You know what? Why don't I try to... Okay, let me see here. So there is an opening in there. I'm probably going to regret this. Oh yeah. Oh no, we gotta turn back. Uh. Go. Okay. That's a that's a bad idea. You must be like right under an ocean or something. So we shall go this way. I want to try to hit bedrock and just strip mine the absolute nonsense out of it. Because I find that I have a lot more luck with resources at bedrock level than I do, like, taking my chances out in the caves.
Solid gold, solid gold. It's gold, it's gold, it's gold. It's solid gold, baby. <laughs> what you guys know about that? We shouldn't be too oh, too far. Where? Okay, we're at Y negative four. I don't remember the coordinates for Bedrock now. It's been a while since I've actually um, looked at like Bedrock coordinates. It's been a while! But I know we are getting close. We have to be. Oh, I did not realize how how close my pick was to, to breaking. Probably only got a couple blocks on that left. Yep, there it is. Alright. So now to play the let's not get eaten alive game. Oh wow, the uh, the lava reflects off off the sword. That's really cool. I think while I'm down here, I'm gonna try to light this cave up a little bit. Oh yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna play with the big boys? Cause you don't lost, boy. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you can stay there. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Don't you do it. Come on, come on up here. Danger pickle. Ha ha, that's a dead spicy pickle. Oh, that's a murder of creepers. I don't know if that's what a group of creepers are, but <laughs> you pushed me. Ha cha 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 cha. Oh wow! I don't even have any torches. Okay, we're out of here. We are out of this piece. Later. I will catch you cats on the flip flop. We did not find coal. But, what we did find was each other. That's what we found. 
we found each other. Okay, so. I am running out of room. That's what's happening right now. For now, this is where I'll put like my doors and stuff. Oh, that reminds me is that uh, this skin was not designed by me. It was designed by somebody on on minecraftskins.com. Uh, the only thing I did was that uh, for whatever reason, the artist uh, didn't put in Samus's arm cannon, which uh, really bugged me. So I had to, so I, I wanted to like go in and, uh, and put it in myself. No disrespect to the, to the artist or whatever, it's just, that just kind of bugged me. So uh, that's the only alteration I did, but other than that, it is a fantastic skin. I love this skin. I'm probably going to keep it. Until my ADHD brain decides that I want something else. Okay, so I think, actually, I have something I want to do. You see, I'm not the usual Minecrafter anymore. I have ascended past a regular Minecrafter. That's right. I am the legendary Super si What? Okay, you can stop cringing. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's what, that's right. So, I want a, a bucket. This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No! I've done nothing but teleport bread for three days. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, water source. Uh, for those who kind of know like what what building in the plains is like, you probably know what I'm about to do. But um, I find this is a very easy and quick uh, way to get rid of grass. If you're just building off in the plains, which uh, I'm gonna make a water source up here. Oh, I don't even have a pick. What am I doing with my life? Okay, so I kind of envision it to be around right here. So we're gonna put the the water source right about here. There's somewhere that's like easily accessible. I doubt I'm gonna need an infinite source, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh crap. There we go. Okay. So, what you do? And just like that, it clears out all the, the grass for you. This is probably a very obvious trick, but you'd be surprised that, like, some people just... Some people, like, uh... Like, you'd be surprised at, like, the amount of stuff that, uh... That people know and, and don't know. That's why I always try to appeal to the inner student. 
as Bruce Lee says. Or I think it was Bruce Lee. I don't know. It's one of those, uh, it's an old, like, quote. I cannot for the life of me remember who it was that said it. But always teach as if you are as if you are speaking to the inner student. Huh. Wonder why it's not killing this girl. Today's lesson is called terraforming. Alright. I think that's just about fine for right now. So, I think what I want is something that's going like, like I want the roots to be like, like massive, you know? So, let's go with something like this. I'm probably going to need another axe soon, but for right now, this will have to do. So right now, we're working on, like, the the trunk, you know? Like, kind of like the heartwood sort of, uh, sort of deal. Now, where do we want the roots to converge? I'm thinking, like... Just as an example. Oh. Ah. Uh, scrungle. Uh, okay. Scrum diddly umptious. Um. Man, it sucks not having resources. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll manage. Alright. So I'm thinking that I want the roots to kind of converge right here. In, in the middle right there. So... I'm thinking you... will stretch out like this to right here and then you will go like maybe like here like a big root coming in like this it's gonna have like a big like like main appendage and maybe like have like a like a little stump that's like kind of sticking out a little bit and we're Going like this. Uh, 
and then right here and then just like before we're gonna have him kind of going like this let's see how that works. okay so we need some that's going this way. And that should be good. We need to go sleep. Like A S app. <laughs> I need to put a pressure plate on that. I'm not used to having to turn around and close the door myself. Alright, I see you up there, Enderman. You can leave, you can just stay, stay your butt over there. Don't come over here. You're not allowed to the family barbecue anymore. Alright. Endermen are like that weird uncle that like just never knows like when, when to leave. All right, so we're gonna go like this for you. Ow. Oh, my legs. I've got no legs, sir. So that'll be the trunk of the tree. And I'm thinking that eventually I can put like a bubble elevator that goes right there. That'll shoot me up like all the way like throughout the entire uh throughout the entire tree. I think that'll be really cool. But let's cover up this Andrzat. Yeah, yeah. Ow! I burnt my finger. I'm gonna need a lot more logs. <laughs> but hopefully this guy will come out like really really cool. I'm not the best builder, but I do okay. Like like I'm not terrible, but I'm not like the greatest either. Yeah, that's definitely looking like a tree. Let's maybe like put like some scrunglies. Oh, you know what I also could do is grab some moss. Let's like take some pieces out just to kind of give it some texture. And 
boom. That way you can go parkour. Parkour. <laughs> Why is this not connected? There we go. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Let me actually take out this corner entirely. Because I feel like it's a little too uniform like that. And maybe do something like this. Okay, yeah, that's that looks a lot better actually. Let me see what it looks like from the top. I need to make like a scaffolding so that I can just like climb up the ladder and be like, oh that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's looking really cool. What I could do is also like spread out the roots a little bit more, but I think that is a, a good enough spot for right now. All right, everybody, so it is time for us to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode, so take it easy.